we both hate spending money on gifts for each other. Mm-hmm. We are like a zero gifting household. And a lot of our friends think that it's wild that we don't buy each other gifts. Like Christmas, birthday, like we rarely have given each other gifts. Welcome to Life Unleashed. The podcast all about creating the best life for you and your furry best friend. If you're a dog mom on the go, juggling life, work, and the endless joys of being a dog parent, then you're in the right place. I'm Danny, And I'm Nick. And together with the incredible dog mom community from Tales Up Pup, we're here to share advice, stories, and the obsession we have over the love for our dogs. Get ready to laugh, learn, and lean on each other because life with your dog just got even more awesome. Y'all seem to love all of the fun little podcast ideas that we have. So I thought this would be a fun one. I saw someone else do this. And today we're going to be talking about things that we hate spending money on. And this is just our personal opinions in life. I feel like I am the most frugal person that I know. I hate spending money on everything, but I will share some of my you know, things that most people don't mind spending money on that I really don't like spending money on. Yeah, Danielle and I are definitely the opposite when it comes to this. There is probably more few things, fewer things that I would care. Like I'm Nick more, much, loves to spend I'm, money. I'm much more willing to spend money. <laughs> yeah. And I hate spending money because I feel like when you spend money, then you have, have less, less money. money. <laughs> and yes, you get things. I like spending money on experiences. I feel like I never hesitate to spend money on experiences, but I definitely hesitate on buying material things. You've been that way like ever since I've known you. I've gotten a lot better. Yes, you have. (laughs) I I do think as you get older, like you, you start to realize like stuff doesn't make you happy and all of that. At least I have. I would love to have a whole new wardrobe, but it costs so much money. And then I'm like, if you just buy three new things, it already equals like $300. That's like wild to me, especially today. Okay. So you want to start or me? Uh, I can start. Okay. Do you have any ideas in your head? I have a few ideas. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, for me, I feel yeah. like some people really love this thing and I really never, ever think about it shoes shoes even when i look at people i never think about shoes and some people have like a full shoe addiction i have shoes that i have from when i was like 16 like i have very few pairs of shoes i never think about shoes and other than like sneakers because that's what i wear the most and especially to the gym i buy new ones of those but like boots and cute sandals and stuff, I literally never buy. And when I think, oh, maybe I would like a new pair, I'm like, nope, they're so expensive. How do you think I feel about shoes? You really like shoes, but you are the same way. Sneakers and like athletic comfy shoes, you want to have a million pairs. But like, you know, casual, like cute shoes, I feel like you don't really care about those. Yeah, I, I definitely, my shoes last quite a while. Besides like my athletic shoes, I, I go, once they wear out, I got to get a new pair. But besides that, yeah, I don't have We that both many. aren't huge shoe people. No. We like our casual sneakers and that's about it. But like some people have a whole closet of shoes. So this should come as no surprise to people that know me. I do not really spend that much money on clothing. I'm the type of person that I will find what I like. I'll buy a bunch of it, but then I can go years without really buying hardly any other clothes. I'm laughing thinking about my next one. Okay. I'm not going to go to it yet though. Cause I want to talk about this. Nick will spend a lot of money on certain clothes and then he won't buy clothes for years. And yeah, he'll wear the same thing. And people are like, Oh my gosh, he wears the same thing every day. I'm like, he has 10 of the same shirt and 10 of the same shorts. And so he only has to do his laundry once a week, but he's wearing the same exact outfit every day. Cause he bought the same exact outfit 10 times. I really do think that comes from growing up, like wearing a uniform to school. It might. It, but the thing is, is most people that I also know, like they have plenty of different like wardrobes. I think I just don't really like having to make the decision like for what I'm going to wear that day. I find something that I like, you know, black t-shirt, you know, shorts or, you know, my a few flannels that I like black shirt underneath, you know, khakis or jeans like that is like as about as crazy as I'm getting. But He's wearing a black t-shirt and black shorts, but they are not like Target or Walmart. They are expensive ones. So he did spend a lot of money on them. Yeah. And I mean, my flannels are nice. That I've always been like 
particularly because I have, I think if I bought like the cheaper stuff, I just really feel like there's no way it would last. But like even down to like my Bomba socks, like my Bombas last a long time because they're nice, they're expensive, um, and well made, all of that stuff. Normally, expense does correlate, not always, but normally correlates with like you know quality and how long it will last. What's and- your most expensive piece of clothing you've ever bought? Oh, probably like a, a rain jacket. A those, rain the, jacket. Those Arterix rain jackets are like four or five hundred dollars. I feel like at yeah. least. And that's but I've actually, I've had that literally since I was like 16, probably. It's funny that he brought that up because the first time that he wanted to go on a trip, we went to Seattle, Washington, and I only had like a cute rain jacket. So I went to the store and bought an actual rain jacket to wear hiking and I bought a cheap one. It's just like a Columbia one. And I was drenched like that rain jacket did whatever the terminology is. It's what resistant and not proof. Right, it, it wasn't resistant. like a Gore-Tex so one. So all the water went completely through it, and I was drenched and cold and sad, and that's when I understood that there is a reason to spend more money on a rain jacket because you got to buy the waterproof one, not the water-resistant one. And and all of this only matters. Like, if you're only going to be going, like, from your car into a store or anything like that, like, the water-resistant one is going to be great. But yeah, if you're gonna don't be- let Nick take you on a four-hour hike. Yeah, if, a good if you're going to be in like torrential downpour for hours, yeah, that's going to get wet. But you're if, if you got a good one, you'll be dry. Um, I'm going to take an intermission to say something that I will spend money on that most people won't. And we talked about this on a different podcast and people were laughing about it. So I wanted to highlight it again. Socks. There is so much importance in socks and you have to buy the good ones. Yes, $20 pair of socks is expensive, but it will make a difference. And once you do it, you will thank yourself. Your feet will be so comfy. Can I also do something that I will spend money on? Sure. Sunglasses. Oh. Ooh. A nice pair of sunglasses. Now, the caveat to that is if you lose or damage stuff often, it's probably not for you. I'll, some people lose their sunglasses a lot. I've had my sunglasses for seven or eight years now, and they're still in amazing condition. So if you're somebody that you know, takes care of your stuff. I feel like that's a place that I'm totally willing to spend money on. That's another one that I have a story for because the first year that we went to the beach, I had cheap sunglasses and literally my eyeballs inside of my eye sockets, the actual balls of my eyes were sunburned. So Nick took me to the store and he said, you need polarized sunglasses. I was like, you need some better sunglasses. And apparently people with blue eyes really need to protect their eyes. So now that I have the nice polarized glasses, I definitely will never go back. And there is a reason to have them. I still have those sunglasses and we bought those like nine or 10 years ago now. Um, I never lose things, knock on wood. The one time I lost a pair and it was in my pocket. So we found them. Yeah, but you did buy another pair. Yeah, but now I have two pairs. Now you have two. And they were different. So I have two different pairs of glasses. Okay, this one is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nasty but i hate spending money on underwear because it is something that like it's so expensive and you don't see it that's like uh that's such a guy thing to say guys are notorious for like having underwear with holes and stuff in it i definitely have some underwears with holes in them and i don't know why women underwear is so expensive especially for a thong it's like so tiny material and i know it didn't take them long to make it in a factory it does not need to be twenty dollars yeah that's very interesting why is it so much because women need underwear so do men yeah yours is expensive too I guess so. You just don't care to, you are fine to spend money on it. I am not fine to spend money on it. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting to think about. Yeah. Why? Okay, one thing that, I mean, this helps a lot, but that we don't like to spend money on is drinking. Well, but we don't drink, so... (laughs) But, but but that is something that has it is incredible if you drank before and then you stop drinking you'll see like your tab like it goes so far down like when just eating food and not drinking it's crazy the difference in like how much less money you spend going out and there are definitely waiters who will treat you differently if you don't order a drink and it, that is like the first thing that happens they're like what can I get you to drink if you don't they'll pay less attention to you because you're not drinking and then their tip will be less because the bill is less yeah they give you that uh, when they're like what do you want and you're like water they give you the glare yeah like and i'm like i'm just thirsty okay i'm sorry <laughs> i need to hydrate shoes and underwear was all i had in my head 
I got nothing else. <laughs> but I know it's like because of everything. I hate spending money on everything. Is there something specific you can think for me? Um, I feel like furniture is something that like we buy. No- we really have the tendency to buy things nice that will last take care of them and to really not have to buy them again so while we're spending more money on the front end on on a lot of our purchases we really don't uh, things that people purchase much more often i would say will go many many years without having to buy um and maybe even longer Mm -hmm. this is turning into a podcast of things we like to spend money on yeah because rewind no i have something else no a mattress yeah but we know that you like your mattress. We want to know what you don't want to spend money on. Another thing I love spending money on <laughs> is books. Is books. <laughs> Clearly, you can see behind me, there's a whole bookshelf. I love spending money on books. Oh, I have something. I re- even though like you had said earlier, we really like experiences. I really don't like spending money on like things like concerts or like events that are like a kind of like a one night out type stuff. I feel like I, we typically don't do things like that and really don't like spending money on that stuff. We'd rather go somewhere on like a trip. Like that's the experience stuff that we like to do versus like a lot of people are like, Oh, we're going to go out to, he-, you know, to like a concert or to like this. I feel like I don't go to concerts, not because of the money, but because of the experience, because a lot of it is revolved around drinking. And when you don't drink, it's not as fun to go with those people like if you and I were to go to a concert we would have a good time but if we went with a group of friends and they were all drinking like it just wouldn't be the same experience for us yeah I a lot of that stuff like spending money really just is a like showing what you put value on and I know I do not like spending money on maintenance things things that are going to be reoccurring costs that don't last long. For example, as a woman, nails and hair. Like some women who get their nails done have to go every two weeks and that is so expensive. Think about how much money you're spending on nail polish a year. And for some people, it's like therapy. They enjoy going and it's a great experience for them. For me, no, it's too much maintenance and I'm not gonna do it. So some people look at me and say, ew, her nails are gross, but that's just my life and I'm not a maintenance girl. And I don't dye my hair. I probably would have, but I was not allowed as a kid. And now I'm like grateful for it because I do not want to have to deal with the maintenance because it grows out. Then you got to dye it again. And And your natural hair color is beautiful. Thank you. So yeah, maintenance things, reoccurring high costs are not for me. I think we're both exactly the same on that. One of the reasons I shave my head and I have for 10 plus years, super low maintenance. I can do it myself. No costs associated with it. Those types of things. It is, it is also very frustrating to have to continue to spend money on stuff like that. Like once you get into it, you feel like you can't break it, Mm -hmm. you know? And we're both that way with whether it's like a supplement or things like that. I think you can really get sucked into a lot of like the marketing schemes of stuff that is like, you know, you got to do Once you do it, like you have to keep it up and like that just can get annoying having to always spend that much money. I also hate spending money on subscriptions. Like anything that is reoccurring, that is so annoying because it all adds up and then you realize at the end of the year how much you spend on something. So like we don't have Netflix anymore and we only have Peacock because it came with our house for free. So like we really don't have that many subscriptions because you realize how much money you're wasting. So you need to make sure it's something that you use often. Yeah, we used to really like spend, we used to be a subscription household and we've really cut back on that. Because it adds up and it's so expensive and then it's money down the drain. Oh, I got something. Um, We really, neither of us are car people. A lot of people- We have new cars. But we didn't go buy like very expensive cars or anything that's like crazy. Yeah. Um, We're not like the type of people that are like, I got to have the BMW, the Mercedes. I feel like a lot of people get very like- Maybe for status or... I could go for a Rolls Royce. Daniel. <laughs> we're just not car people. Yeah. I, and so, yes, we did get new cars, but our cars or whatever were very old. Yours was not safe at all anymore. Um, you know, mine was going to need a lot of... So it was a very, like, I guess... Uh, it was a good decision to, to get cars. Um, but like we did, we got, you know, very standard model cars. Mm-hmm. And so we're just not like car people. Some people love cars and, but it's, it, cars are interesting because you don't actually spend that much time of your life in your car. 
Something I will spend money on for my car is the car wash. I love a good car wash. I don't. He's rolling his eyes. She at goes me. to the car wash like once a year because it costs money, and like I'm not gonna waste my. Yeah, money. you're not willing to spend money on the car wash. Yeah, but I do love a good car wash. It makes you feel like you got a new car because it's so shiny and clean. We love to get our cars detailed. We haven't done it in a long time, so it's something that we're not really willing to spend money on because we never do it. But when you do do it, it is such a good feeling. Yeah, I feel like this has turned into the podcast of Danielle is very frugal and we don't like to spend money on anything and she's turned me more into that type of person. I feel like for Callan, we've definitely taken we're we've really turned more into people that are like more minimalist people and that definitely is not how I was beforehand, but it's like having certain things that are good and nice that you will actually use versus just having a ton of stuff. And with kids, it can get out of hand and then you'll have stuff all over your house and it'll be everywhere. And also, I feel like not just minimalist, but we also are very fine with using used items. So like thrifting or gifting or hand-me-downs are definitely something that we're interested in because the kids use it for such a short amount of time that if someone used it, it's probably still in almost new condition because they didn't use it that long. And then are you really going to spend like $100 on something that's going to be used for two months? Like it just isn't worth it a lot of the times. So using hand-me-downs is definitely up our alley with the kid things. I used to not really be willing to spend money on a gym. Mm -hmm. That's something that I used to be like, nope, I would rather, even when I didn't have a lot of workout equipment, I'd rather just like whatever I had at home, I can do that. I can go running, walking, hiking, and like one pair of weights, I can, you know, do everything. That used to kind of be my mentality. But now that we've been working at home, I'm like, I need the social aspect Mm -hmm. to get out and things like that. But I used to not be really willing to spend money on that. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why the gym. Because it's something that you can do without paying for it. Like you could go on a run outside completely free. You can go on a walk. Like you could get a few weights and like turn on YouTube and do it completely free. So when you have free options, sometimes it's hard to spend money on that same option. But to us, it's not the same because you're getting a whole experience out of it. Yeah, I guess that's true. And I mean, maybe that has a little bit to do with some of the stuff that like why maybe not concerts and things like that. We, a lot of times, prefer to go do active things and that are free, like hiking, that type of stuff. You're going to agree with this right away. I hate spending money on parking. Oh, my gosh. Does, does anyone like spending money on parking? Yeah, because some people will choose to pay it to have the convenience of being closer or covered or whatever. We'll park two miles away and We walk. will really park far to not have to pay, but sometimes you don't have a choice, and it is expensive money down the drain that you literally paid to pay to pay to be on pavement like it is crazy danielle and i this covers is a wide blanket we both hate spending money on gifts for each other Mm -hmm. we are like a zero gifting household and a lot of our friends think that it's wild that we don't buy each other gifts like christmas birthday like we rarely have given each other gifts in the very beginning of our relationship we gave more gifts because like we weren't quite sure what we liked doing at that point and we enjoyed it at that time but now we really like saving our money to do an experience so we try to do some type of experience every year and if we would have spent money on gifts then we probably wouldn't have had the money to go on a trip or do something special like that so we would rather do that and we don't have money to do both some people have money to do both and that would be great but but even even then, like if you are familiar with the five love languages, um, gifts is one of the five love languages. When Danielle and I took that test, both of us scored basically zero. Gifts was the last one, and it scored almost nothing on on there. And so that just shows that like deep down, both of us have – it's not something that matters at all to us really. Mm-hmm. And so that's a good thing because it's whether giving or receiving, that's just not something that is like, you know – Uh, scores high at all for you know our love language and so it works really well for us we love quality time we love doing something that we'll remember or something that we've been wanting to do and checking off bucket list items like we like doing things like that and a lot of times those things cost money so we would rather spend our money there i even think if like we had unlimited money like maybe every once in a while we'd find something special and like give a gift but i still don't think that would be a huge part of like you know like day-to-day stuff that we do we wouldn't be getting each other gifts all the time I don't think and we like eating so we would like rather go to a nice dinner than have like a necklace or something yeah that's I that is definitely something that is very different particularly like 
couple to couple. Like most couples are not like that. I think a lot of people would be offended. Like my husband or boyfriend didn't get me this. Like what the heck they like for my birthday. They must not love me. That is not. And we're both that way. Something that I always hated spending money on, but you have converted me is appetizers. Oh, yeah. You used to not be an appetizer person at all. And like people come from appetizer families or not. And like I've seen the thing on social media. It's like, are you a water family or like a soda family? We were a water family. We just didn't go out to eat very often. And so if we did, like, I don't know, we never got appetizers. And so Nick's family was very much an appetizer family. And so he would always want to get an appetizer when we went out to dinner. And now I love me a good appetizer. If you go to dinner hungry, sometimes you need that appetizer. And dessert. (laughs) Dessert is always necessary. We are very willing to spend money on desserts. And then, but there's other people out there that they're not dessert people at all. They Mm -hmm. could, they could leave it always. And I'm like, no, we need dessert every time. I feel like we also both don't like spending money on like perishable things like flowers, for instance. Mm. Like we will do it very occasionally, but for the most part, I feel like We don't spend money on stuff like that. I do love a good flower surprise, but they do die and then it was money wasted. So I could see that. But, you know, food is perishable. We love some good food. So, yeah, you mostly meant flowers. Yeah, but you don't consume flowers. (laughs) You consume the food. Okay, I'll end with something that I think everyone will agree on. Hate spending money on buying water in the airport. Buying anything in the airport or any place like that is like Ooh, the prices. The movie theater. Prices are jacked up like crazy. It's so expensive for no reason. So at the movie theater, you can smuggle it in, but at the airport, you can't. So you're kind of forced to buy it. You're smuggling things into the movie theater. Doesn't everyone? I feel like no. <laughs> that I never did that before. You really? Ooh, that's like families who have money, I guess, and families who don't. <laughs> you had enough money to buy a water at the movie theater. No, I've never bought a water at the movie theater. You bought milk duds. <laughs> That's because you bought them. <laughs> but buying in the airport, so expensive for no reason. So, well, the reason is that they have, they can mark it up because they know you're going to have to buy it. And so, and I also feel like they make the water fountains at the airport taste worse so that you have to buy the water. That might just be a you thing. <laughs> Well, this was a very interesting podcast. (laughs) I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you agreed, disagreed with some of the things. Um, But we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.